welcome back knitters. I'm Jana with Pearl Together and in this week's video we're going to knit the foot of our sock. This is part two in the series of the customizable toe up. This is an updated version of a series that's been on my channel for a while but you know we continue learning and so I thought it would be helpful to update the series to reflect a different cast on. So if you're just joining us go back to the toe video and start out with the Tur Turkish cast on. We do the rounded seam free toe method and I'll put a link to that video and to the whole playlist actually down below in the video description. Before we get started on the foot though I want to give a big public thank you to three new patrons this week. Thanks for joining me in the Patreon community. A big hearty shout out to Janine, Janet, and Sharon. Thanks for joining us. If you want to know what that's all about head over to patreon.com forward slash pearl together and you can see what benefits I'm offering for a small monthly pledge. Becoming a patron helps keep these videos coming each and every week and it helps support the channel and the tutorials. Okay, if you've completed the toe and you're using that as your swatch, you'll definitely want to go ahead and measure your stitches per inch. And as I indicated in the last video, you want to measure the ball of your foot. So that's right where your toe, your toes flex, that ridge of joint right there is where you want to measure. So for example, I cast on 72 because I have roughly between eight and nine stitches per inch. I want a little negative ease, not cast on 72. I cast on 14 and I increased the toe up to 72 stitches for my foot. Then I need to decide what kind of pattern I want to use. Now I've chosen a kind of a variation of the vanilla latte pattern. You can check on that if you want to do that. You can choose a pattern out of a stitch dictionary as long as it fits with you know, the multi, it fits, the multiple fits within the stitches that you have on this half because the bottom half is your sole. So that's what you're walking on and you don't want to have any pattern on that. So I have 36 stitches with the, with which to work with. That's hard to say. So I just chose to do a really simple knit four, purl two, knit four, purl two. We'll get into that a little bit in closer detail in just a moment. So let's get started and I'll show you what I mean. All right, I finished the rounded toe and I'm really pleased with how this looks. So now I'm gonna choose a pattern for the top of the foot and then I'm gonna just knit the sole straight across because you don't want any really kind of pattern on the bottom side of your foot. So for this, I have chosen to just do a very simple uh, four by two rib. So I'd, I'd knit four, purl two, knit four, purl two, knit four, purl two. Now if I do that all the way across here, I'm gonna end up with two stitches left. So I'm gonna have a purl bump. At, I'm gonna have a purl stitch at the beginning and at the end. That's just how I like to do it. So if you wanna follow along with me, I'll put the notation for that down below in the video description. Um, if you choose not to do this and you wanna look at a stitch dictionary or look for some patterns online that will fit into you know, the number of stitches you have across the top, that's uh, works really well too. This is a great method for just customizing your own and finding a pattern that works best for you. I like to do kind of this seed stitch, I guess, ribbing where I do this on round one and then on round two, I just knit all the way across, all the way around. So it makes an interesting texture on those pearl columns. I'm having trouble counting and talking at the same time. So I'll show you that here in a minute. Let me get this established and then I'll come back and show you what it's going to look like. All right, you can see plainly what I mean here now. I've chosen to do a knit for purl two. So that's a six stitch repeat. However, I have 36 stitches here. So if I start with a knit for purl two, knit for purl two, I'll end up with a purl two. So there's my knit for and I'll end with a purl two. Well, rather than doing that, I took a purl one and then I put the, just consider it, uh, pretend like I took the other purl and put it around on this other side so that it would all come out evenly. So I start with a purl one because I like the differentiation between the, the just the knitted sole stitches and then the beginning of my pattern here. So I purl one, knit four, purl two, knit four, purl two, all the way across until I get to the knit four and then I just purl the last one. So I hope that makes sense. Again, I'll write this out for you and I'll have a link to the pattern or I'll just write the pattern in the video description. I haven't decided that yet, but either way, you'll be able to copy and paste it and print it or whatever works for you. 
So I'm just going to continue this all the way up the foot. So again, on round one, I purl one, knit four, purl two, knit four, purl two, knit four, purl two, all the way across, purl the last, and then I just knit my way back across the other side. And then on round two, I just knit all the way around. And that is what makes that kind of interesting texture in this column of the purl column right there. And it just, you know, it goes a little faster, but it keeps me engaged. So I've used this pattern lots and lots of times. It's loosely based on the vanilla latte pattern. You can look that up on Ravelry and I'll put a link to it down below. With that one, she does a thing where the pattern designer, uh, I believe knits six purl two, knit six purl two. So it's just a little bit wider of a column of knit. It just looks a little bit different. And I'm not sure if she does this where she splits the last one and starts with a purl. Um, that's just what I choose to do to make everything centered. You could also alternatively, you know, do some other pattern that makes you happy here or no pattern at all. You could certainly just knit the whole thing vanilla, just knit, 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 knit all the way around until you get the foot as long as you need. Now we'll get into that here in just a moment. Okay, let's talk about how far should you be knitting your sock. Now I'm gonna use this box with the sock here just as an illustration. So we're knitting from the toe up, obviously. And what we wanna do is knit the foot until we get to the place here where we're gonna start the toe flap. Now for me, I know that I've, I've measured my foot and I know that my uh, the bottom of my heel begins about three inches from the very end of my heel. So for me, from the very end of my heel to right here where the arch of my foot begins. For me, that's three inches. It could be something different for you. Um, so you just need to measure that. And then you need to knit, 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 and even try it on until you get to right where your heel, the pad of your heel begins. Okay, that's when we're gonna separate for the heel flap. So you just continue, we've, we've done the toe, and you just continue knitting all the way up until you're three inches, roughly, you measure it. Uh, two and a half to three inches from the end. And real quick, I'll show you the other one that I'm working on. So this is the, the second sock of the two. I kind of like to knit the sections together. So I'll have like the toe and then I'll do the other toe and then the foot and the foot and you know, so forth. So I'm obviously not done here to where I've, I've knitted two and a half or three inches away from the heel. I just put this on a couple of double point needles to let it rest while I was working on this one to show you. But this is super cool. Again, this is um, the Earth Yarns Unique Sock Kit. So we're kind of having fraternal twins here. They will not match exactly, but you could have yours match if you want. So I just chose to knit, like I mentioned in the last video, I chose to knit from the inside of this cake and from the outside of the other cakes. I thought it would look cool. So right on. So if you find these videos helpful, consider becoming a patron. And if that's not within your means at the moment, that's totally fine. Become a subscriber. I would love that. Show me photos of your work in the Pearl Together Facebook and Ravelry groups. And I'll see you next week where we will separate for the heel flap. And I'll show you how to know exactly how long that's going to be and how many rows that needs to be to fit your arch and your instep of your foot. All right. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.